Hello and welcome to this session. This is Farhat in which I will discuss the production budget. The production budget is part of the master budget. We had a separate recording. It took us approximately 35 to 40 minutes to discuss the, mats, the master budget. And the production budget are a subschedule of the master budget. But as I was discussing the master budget, I stated for the interest of time, I will cover the production budget separately because I did not want to add an additional 10 to 15 minutes on the master budget schedule. Therefore, this deferment of the production budget is due now. So in this session, I will cover the production budget rather than covering the production budget as part of the operating budget, which is part of the master budget. So this is the plan for today to cover the production budget. Now to cover the production budget, I'm going to be using an example. The Snow Glide Company Inc. produces snowboards. Each snowboard requires three, pound, three pounds of fiber glass. I'm going to go over the, de the details of these questions and try to answer three to four questions explaining how the production budget is created. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. First is we need to know the information that we are giving. Management reports that 6,000 snowboards and 7,000 pounds of fiberglass are in inventory at the beginning of the second quarter. So we are dealing with the second quarter and they already have ready to sell 6,000 snowboards and 7,000 7, pounds of the fiberglass that they need to produce the snowboards. And that 120,000 snowboards are budgeted to be sold during the second quarter. And based on forecast, based on estimation, based on input from the sales team, based on the company guessing, they think they can sell 120 snowboards in the second quarter. And management wants to end the second quarter with 4,000 snowboards and 5,000 pounds of fiberglass in inventory. What does that mean? Just like at the beginning of the quarter, when we started the quarter, they, we were told that 6,000 snowboards are inventory ready, be, ready to be sold and 7,000 pounds of raw material of fiberglass are in inventory ready to be used in production. Now, management at the end of this quarter, the second quarter, they want rather than 6,000, they want 7,000 in ending inventory, and they would like to have only 5,000 pounds of fiberglass in inventory. What does that tell me? That tells me that in the third quarter, they expect less sales. That's why they are reducing snowboard. That could be one explanation. Could be other explanation. They're getting better at uh, forecasting their sales. Uh, I don't know, but that's what they want to do. Now, fiberglass costs 12 pounds at uh, $12 per pound and each snowboard required 0.6 of an hour of direct labor and it cost $22. 0.6 little bit more than half an hour because 0.5 is half, if half an hour, 30 minutes. 0.6 times 6 is 36 minutes and we pay $22 of direct labor hours. Variable overhead is budgeted at a rate of $10 per direct labor hour. So for every one hour, the variable overhead is budgeted at the rate of $10 per direct labor hour. The company budgets fixed cost at $1,560,000 for the whole quarter. So now we need to answer a few questions about this exercise. First is prepare the production budget for the second quarter, prepare a direct material budget for the second quarter, prepare the direct labor budget for the second quarter, prepare the factory overhead budget for the second quarter. So we need to answer those four questions. Now, on the following slides, I will answer, I will answer each question separately, starting with the production budget. What do we know about the production budget? We need, they need to sell 120. Now we need, do we need to produce 120? 
well we need to have 120 whether we have it or we need to produce it we need to know how much we need to produce to have the 120 we we need 120 Is that all what we need? Not at all. We are told we need an additional 4,000 units and ending inventory of snowboards at the end of the quarter. This makes what's required to be produced is 124. Okay? That's fine. That's what we need to do. It's a lot of work. The good news is from the beginning of the quarter they gave us they made available to this quarter. Who made available? The people in the, in, in the first quarter. They produce 6,000 extra snowboards that they did not use. Therefore, we don't, we don't have to produce those. Therefore, all we have to produce is 118,000 units for this quarter. So the budgeted sales is 120. We add to it what we desire in ending inventory gives us the total required. The good news is some of what we need to produce is already produced for us just to make sure we have some extra on hand, 6,000. Therefore, the only the only thing we need in production is 100 the only thing we need to produce is 118,000 units now let's take a look at the direct material budget once we know how many units we need to produce what do we need to know well for every unit what do we need for every unit we need three pounds well how many units do we need we need 100 and 18,000 units each unit needs three pounds that's going to give us 354,000 pounds of fiberglass that we need for production also the company wants to have an extra 5,000 pounds on hand at the end of the quarter that's going to bring the total to 359,000 pounds that's the bad news the good news is from the first quarter the company has on hand 7,000 pounds that's we're going to reduce this what we end up with is 352,000 pounds and we know it cost how much does it cost per pound let's go back to see how much does it cost per pound it cost $12 per pound and if it cost $12 per pound we'll take this number we multiply it by 12 and this will be the cost of direct material and if we follow this formula you know that this this computation 118,000 times 3 is 359 add what we need an in ending inventory subtract what we have from the first quarter take 352 times 12 dollars the cost of direct material purchases is 4,224,000 now if you remember from the master budget we might pay some of it immediately some of it in cash so on and so forth that's a separate discussion for the master budget that's for the material budget how about the direct labor budget how much labor do we need well what do we know about the labor we need that we need to consume we need 0.6 of an hour so if we need to produce uh, 118,000 unit times 0.6 of an hour we need 70.70,800 70, Eight hundred hours. How much do we pay per hour? We pay twenty-two dollar per hour. So seventy thousand eight hundred hours times twenty-two will give us one million five hundred fifty-seven thousand six hundred dollar in the cost of labor in the production budget. Therefore, the company will have to plan for that. Now, how about the factory? overhead cost well here's what we know we know that the variable is based on the direct labor hour the variable overhead cost we have 70,800 hours that we need we computed in the prior slide in the direct labor hours and we say it's ten dollar per hour so we need to budget for variable overhead 708,000 which is the number of direct labor hours and it's ten dollar per direct labor hour that's how they compute their variable overhead based on the direct labor hours then we need to add the fixed budgeted fixed overhead which is giving to you therefore the total factory overhead the budgeted amount is two million two hundred sixty eight sixty eight thousand and what we did basically we answered the four questions that we need to do we need to prepare when we are preparing a production budget what should you do now 
it doesn't matter whether you are an accounting student or someone that's studying for their accounting professional CPA CMA or any other accounting prof profession uh, professional certification go to Farhat lectures look at additional resources lectures multiple choice uh, true false exercises additional resources that you can find that's that's going to help you invest in yourself study hard and stay safe